Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is right around the 12th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now this full moon will take place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your workplace and the people who surround you there and the type of work that you are doing as well as your health related habits. Now what is so encouraging about this full moon is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. This is very much about feeling more powerful and the power move, if you will, with results that last, beneficial changes that last in a way that you like very much that set you up for the long term. We've also got a beautiful connection between this full moon and Neptune, which brings an element of magic, an element of blessings. And we've got Mercury retrograde standing across the sky as well. So that Mercury retrograde though, that is an interesting energy because there's some sense of perhaps lack of certainty or perhaps mixed messages as well. And ultimately you are being asked to depend on you. With Mercury right now, moving through the sign just before yours, uh, this is a part of the sky that has to do with what you're not aware of. With Mercury retrograde there, it makes it that much more that you're going over old ground and realizing what you didn't know before, what it was that might have been hidden from you, whether it was intentional or unintentional, and how that can feed into the opportunities that are finding you now. For some, this is going to be good karma. This is going to be a sense of realizing that there were people all along who were working on your behalf and you didn't realize it until now you were granted particular opportunities. But for others, it could be that in spite of what might have been happening without you knowing about it, now here are these new opportunities. Now, regardless, it's almost as if when you look at what is new and what is happening now, whatever might have transpired before, what you didn't know before, but now you do. It's like, this is the moment for you to know, for things to come together in as powerful a way as they are now. So, as I said, workplace, whether it's clients, customers, coworkers, uh, whether it's tasks and new opportunities, all of this seems to be developing in a way that is very much to your advantage. And so it could be a time when you are brought back into contact with particular clients and customers. And at the very least, when we have a full moon in this part of the sky, as it is for you, uh, chances are you'll be busy. That's the very least. You'll be very busy at this time. Now, if it is that you are realizing this energy more in terms of your health, this can be a time of positive change on that front, good news on that front, and maybe something you didn't realize was affecting your health, now that comes into your awareness and ultimately moves you in a direction of feeling better than you have before. And an overall sense of improved well-being can find you at this time. Now, as we navigate late into the month, this is the very big news for you. And that is a new moon in your sign. Normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is yours. This is your moment. This new moon is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. Whatever feels like it's beginning again at this time or fresh start at this time, well, chances are there's also an element of it being deeply healing to you uh, emotionally, spiritually, but yeah, physically as well as possible here at this time. And so when I think about how sometimes we're granted really big opportunities or people who really believe in us and how healing that can be, that's the kind of thing we have here on offer to you now. So for some of you, this is going to be a time when you are feeling very much connected to whom it is that you know yourself to be, some truth about yourself, some clarity as to what it is that you are really wanting. But look, at the very least, a new moon in your sign and a new moon like this, it's about fresh energy and fresh excitement for yourself and your future. And wherever it is that you want developments most to happen, 
that is where you've got the biggest karmic blessings, the biggest personal blessings at this time. But it isn't just about the new moon. The new moon just kicks things into high gear two days before the new moon. We are going to have Venus and Jupiter meet in your sign. Now this is all around big blessings. Jupiter has been moving through your sign for the last year. This is the last full month that you will have Jupiter in your sign. Uh, you'll get another shot at Jupiter in your sign in about 12 years time. So you've got a little bit of a ways to go before you're gonna see a transit like this again. But it is when Venus meets Jupiter now as the cycle is ending in what astrologers call the late degrees, in anorectic degrees of your sign, this is really when things start to feel like they come together. This is the cherry on top. This is a sense of blessings that are very much with you coming forward now. And in some way, I do believe your life is going to start to look different. And it is Venus meeting Jupiter that sets the stage for the sense of a bright new beginning. And it is that new moon that fully allows you to realize it, fully allows you to step in. Under the light of the new moon, I do want to add, it is going to be Neptune that goes direct as well. Neptune is moving through the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. And so all around, it is going to be this sense of you moving forward, a sense of feeling more at peace within your body, within your skin, is going to be very much a part of what allows all of these blessings to find you and all of these blessings to come together for you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus meeting Jupiter in the sky, astrologers like to call that the most romantic day of the year. And it is going to be Venus that is in your sign for most of this month. And so there's this sense throughout the month that you really are sort of the star of the show, if you will, where it comes to romantic opportunities. And it is going to be this meeting of Venus and Jupiter that only accelerates the process, that allows you to feel as if you're able to attract into your life. It's not so much about you going out there or being in certain circumstances to make it happen, but rather just you being you when Venus is in your sign is more than enough to attract romantic opportunities into your life. But when Venus meets Jupiter in your sign, it is truly you just being a magnet for greater romantic and love moments. If you are open to meeting someone new, this really is one of the best months that you are going to see all year. And that meeting of Venus and Jupiter, one of the best moments of the year that you are going to have to be able to attract romantic opportunities and love into your life as well. Again, there's not a whole lot you need to do when Venus is in your sign. Just you being yourself is more than enough to experience an increase in options where it comes to matters of love. If it is that you're just getting to know someone, so if you just started to date somebody, this can be a really valuable time as well. There's a sense now at this time of you uh, having a sense of, of understanding, having a sense of romance, having a sense of you feeling very swept up in a moment or swept up off your feet. All of that becomes possible here. Now, those romantic opportunities are going to be plentiful. So if you're just dating somebody, know that there may be somebody else who's sort of in the ether as well, or someone new that may present themselves to you at this time. Now, regardless, ultimately, this is truly lovely in your journey towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are in an established bond, when Venus is in your sign, it makes it feel that much more like your partner is that much more loving. You're able to feel loved that much more as well. Well, with Venus meeting Jupiter, I do think this is going to be a real sense of being in love. And so chances are, you are going to feel that everything is right in the world and in your relationship, especially in the days surrounding the new moon in the later part of the month. So make sure you're enjoying it, doing something romantic, something that feels right to you and for the two of you, because it is these moments that nurture the love that the two of you share and that carry you forward from here. 
What I love about this month for you, look, it's got to be that new moon in your sign, Venus meeting Jupiter in your sign. This really is the star of the show and it is in your sign. So it really is you that is very much at the center of the biggest blessings on offer this month. Whatever it is that you enjoy, go do that. Wherever it is that you feel at ease, be in those spaces because it is in those very spaces that you maximize your blessings with a month like this. And with the last full month of Jupiter in your sign, you certainly have the Midas touch, even with Mercury retrograde. You've got such an ability now to have things go very much in your favor. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.